to through a certain bad habit that I have of chasing down various parts of things, symptoms that might not be right. I learned through a CAT scan of my abdomen that I had the arteries inside me of an 80-year-old man. I was 37 years old at the time. I was really astounded and really frightened because my father had his first stroke at 42 and after that was unable to work for the rest of his life and died in his uh, early 50s. So I was following in his footsteps and I thought this is something I really don't want to do. So as I began to search throughout all kinds of medicine, all kinds of other places where old medicine would be, I stumbled onto the group that I began to work with at Stanford. This is Stanford Clinical uh, Research. This is Stanford Cardiovascular Research Department. And two giants in the world were there to help me and lead me on. One was Victor Zhao, who's now chairman of all of Duke University's uh, medical system. And one is the present chairman of that Department of Cardiovascular Research, John Cook. In all the research they were doing, I learned that they could reverse atherosclerosis and did so in many small studies, making people who are eligible for surgery no longer eligible. I was startled by this and put it into play for myself immediately and also all the patients that I've cared for for a long period of time. It was so exciting, I must say. I had no idea, however, that I was really going to reverse it. All I knew is it was going to stop. And in about 2000, I had another little stomach thing and I said I should have it looked at and I did. And it was found I had no further hardening of the arteries, no atherosclerosis. I couldn't believe it. Then the person who read the first one also read the second one. And he looked at it, first the old one, then the new back and forth, and then said, how did you do this? This is incredible. I never thought for a moment we could actually reverse this. But we did, and I did, and then checked it with a heart scan. No atherosclerosis.